This is Dakota News Now, your first alert station. And the news continues at 5.30. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Allen. I'm Sam Wright, a 26-year-old Sioux Falls resident facing multiple sexual assault charges here in Minnehaha County. This after law enforcement says she abused her position as a youth counselor and had a relationship with a minor. Cooper Seamer in studio with our 5.30 top story tonight. Cooper. Brian and Sam, Savannah Henry is facing charges of child pornography possession and sexual contact with a minor while she was employed at Macross and Boys Ranch. If she's found guilty of these charges, she could face time in prison and have to register as a sex offender. 26-year-old Savannah Henry is facing charges of possession of child pornography, sexual contact by a psychotherapist, and sexual contact with a child under 18 by a position of authority while she was an employee at Macross and Boys Ranch. According to court documents, law enforcement were first notified on June 15th of a sex offense report by ranch staff. Through interviews and an investigation, Henry is alleged to have initiated a relationship with a 16-year-old resident starting near the end of April. At that time, she was assigned as his primary youth counselor. This occurred while uh, Savannah was employed by McCrossin Boys Ranch, uh, but she has uh, subsequently been terminated or no longer employed at the Boys Ranch. In a statement to Dakota News Now, McCrossin Boys Ranch says the organization is working with law enforcement in their investigation and that they can't release any additional information due to privacy concerns. That relationship between Henry and the minor became sexual with the two meeting in Aberdeen and back at McCrossin Boys Ranch. Captain Josh Phillips with the Minnehaha County Sheriff's Office says that led to her arrest Thursday. We also have information um, that this case reaches out to Aberdeen. Uh, we've been working with the Aber Aberdeen Police Department. Phillips says because the suspect and minor had met in Aberdeen, there could be additional charges in Brown County and that they're planning on sharing information with law enforcement there. So I'm guessing subsequent charges will be filed there. Um, so we're going to share our information. They'll work with their state's attorney's office and ours. Uh, so there, there is possible future charges in regards to this case. Henry is being held on a $100,000 bond with a no contact order with the victim or anyone under the age of 18.